Hello my lovely Scorpios, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is for all Scorpio sun, moon and rising, so please take the energy that resonates. If it doesn't resonate, then leave it where it is. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe and the notification bell and it will notify you every single time I upload a video. So let's get into your reading, shall we? So angel spirit guys, what's the message for our lovely Scorpios today, please? Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, so it's align your life. What is no longer in alignment with who you truly are. So what are you clinging on to that feels comfortable? What are you clinging on to that feels like, oh, well, I know how to handle this, so I'll just deal with it, even though it doesn't make me happy. Just going through the same old shit every single day, but nothing is actually making you happy. It's about starting to really realise what it is that you want out of your life and then looking at your life and seeing what is actually going to help you. So who or what is in your life that's going to help you grow into the person that you want to be? Whatever that is, keep that in your life. And whatever is going to be holding you back from being the person you want to be, that's what you need to get rid of. So you need to start aligning your life with the person that you want to become. And whatever's not going to help you, you need to get rid of or you need to leave. Okay. So you've got the Knight of Pentacles here. The Knight of Pentacles is um, a fast action uh, card. So something is coming in for you which is gonna be very, very fast. The Knight of Cups is about emotions and love. So this could be a new love coming in or you could be I feel for some of you, you're going to be taking action towards somebody that you love, that you've been keeping at arm's length, and you're going to run at them with action. You, you're not going to hold back anymore. You've made a decision about what you want out of your life, how you want your life to be, and I feel that this person is somebody that you want in your life, so you're going to start running towards them, and you're going to be starting taking action. Um, the person that, I feel this is you, I feel that you're going to need to, I feel like you're dealing with someone that's quite charming and quite romantic, but I also feel that you need to be that towards them as well. You need to be very romantic and very charming towards them because I feel like for some of you, you've been very up and down with it because you're scared. You have, you've kept this person at arm's length because you're scared of what could happen. Like you're scared that you could fall in love with this person and then they would hurt you. But I feel like you're, you're coming to the realisation now that this person is the one that you want to be with. And it's time for you to take action before you lose them. Um, for some of you though, it might be the other way around. For some of you, there's somebody that has been messing you around... And you've been really compassionate and loving towards this person and try to give them their space and try to be kind and try to help them in every way that you can. And they've just constantly like, come and, they come along, they give you everything they want you to know and then they bugger off again. And then you're just left there with not knowing what to do. But because you're so compassionate towards it, because I feel like some of the pain they're going through, you've gone through, you just keep taking them back all the time. Um, they ju you just keep you just keep taking them back over and over again and they're playing on that vulnerability so you need to make that decision of whether or not you want to allow this person into your life because you've also got the nine of wands here and the nine of wands is about you protecting yourself I feel this person has come in so many times and has told you everything they want you to know and then left again and it's literally, it's really hurt you. So now you're just like, you've got all these these ones up, these barriers up. Like, you know what? I just can't do it anymore. Like, if you come in back, you've got to come back, like, fully giving it a go. This is it. This is what I want. You can't just come and go and come and go. Um, you need to start protecting yourself. You need to really go within and decide, again, align your life. What is it that you want? Like, do you want this person in your life if they come back towards you? 
if, and I feel that they are, they're going to come in very romantic, very charming, and they're going to come in with action. They're not just going to say their words anymore. They're actually going to be using, they're going to be taking action towards you. But I feel that you need to make that decision of, does this person align with the way I want my life? Like, this person that is, like, messing you around, do they align with your life? Do you want them to be in your life? That's what you need to kind of make that decision over. You need to start protecting yourself here. You are going to get justice out of this situation. I feel this is like... Justice is going to be served to them. Uh, if they're the ones that have been... Or if you're the one that have been messing somebody around, then you are going to get justice from it. So if you haven't been messing anybody around and you're the one that's kind of like being really compassionate and keep welcoming them back into your life, hoping that maybe this time they're going to stick around for real. They're going to get their justice. They're going to they're gonna get what they kind of deserve here. I mean, this is Libra energy. So if you're dealing with a Libra here, justice card is a Libra, is the Libra energy card. So, uh, you know, she's got her sword there and sword there and she's got her her scales as well she's balancing that her or his life I, i'm saying her because it's a, a woman in the card but they're balancing their life out and i feel that you need to do that too you need to start balancing your life out and give him the, give him or her the justice that they deserve and maybe time to walk away from it With the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, I feel that you are finally taking the lead of your own life. I feel that you are, um, once you make that decision of whether this person is going to be in your life or out of your life, like they're going to come in quite quickly. They're going to come in with action and, mo and moving towards you. But then you need to make that decision of whether or not you want them in. I feel that what... Okay, I feel a little bit here that for some of you who choose to allow this person back into your life, that it, it is long, it's permanent. They're going to stick around. Uh, but I don't know how long for. Longer than usual, but I don't know if they will actually stick around. But I feel that if you choose not to, you're going to have a lot of clarity and you're going to be like, I feel more in charge of myself and I'm very strong with who I am and I know where I'm going and I know what I want to do. And you're going to be moving towards that. You've got your loyal companion here with the dog by the side. And I feel that you, that you need to be loyal to yourself. You need to love and respect and be loyal to who you are. Okay, let's see what else we've got. So, Angel Spirit, guys, what else do I love to see Scorpios? That was already upside down. What else do I love the Scorpios need to know, please? What else do I love these Scorpios need to know, please? Okay, we've got the Five of Wands here. We've got the Empress. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles. I don't read reversals, so if you see me flip them upside down. And we've also got the Knight of Wands as well. So you've got a lot of um, wand energy here. So that's a lot of uh, fire energy. Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. You could be dealing with one of them or someone in their chart. So there's going to be some conflict here. I don't think you're going to take this line down. I think when this, per this person comes in towards you, you're not going to be like roll over and go, okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll give it one more shot. You're going to be there like, how? No, you ain't treating me like this again. I think there's going to be conflict and this person is not going to like it because you've always just rolled over for them and just let them kind of, you always feeling like this is a, this is it. This is it. This time they've changed. This time, this is it. But I feel like this time you're standing up going, do you know what? No. If you want me, you've got to prove that you want me. There's going to be a little bit of conflict because they're not going to like you doing that. But you are standing in your power now. This is the feminine power. If you're male or female, we all have feminine energy. And the Empress is about creating and birthing something new into the world. And I feel that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be birthing this new, strong, powerful person um, that's not going to take no shit from no one. 
like you know if you want if someone wants to be in your life they need to be in your life I also get from this that if you have a little bit of fun with this person you might want to be protected because this is also the pregnancy card um so if you don't want no babies be careful if you want babies don't be careful whatever you want okay but i feel as well with this when you're standing in your feminine energy you're ready to create a new life for yourself and i feel that you want to create the life for yourself and the people that have got come into it have got to have the same values and beliefs as you and that's where you need to decide on this person that keeps coming in and out do they have the same values and beliefs of you of where you want your life to go because if they don't they can't stay that's just my opinion. It's up to you. But that's my opinion. If they don't have the same vision that you have for your future and you can build on that, those, the, your, both, both your futures come together. And if that's like, well, your future's like here, up here, and their future's down here, that's not going to work, is it? Right? So futures need to be in alignment with each other. And if theirs isn't in alignment with yours, then you need to, you need to move on. Because you've also got the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is you are a very nurturing. That's why you're allowing this person to come back and forth into your life all the time. But it's, start, it's time to start being really practical about what it is that you want. I feel that you need to start working hard towards your goals, your beliefs, what you want out of life, rather than trying to change yourself for someone else. The Queen of Pentacles, she's very practical um, and with this card coming out, showing showing that you're going to be very prosperous. But I don't know if you're going to be prosperous in this relationship. I feel that there's more out there for you. And I feel that you feel there's more out there for you. But you might feel that you're not worthy of it. You might feel that you're not worthy of all this prosperity, abundance, security, and all of this success that you want out of your life, you don't feel that you're worthy of it. So that's why you continue to repeat this cycle of going back to this person that comes in and out of your life because maybe that's what you're used to. But once you start aligning your life with the things that you want, then all those things are gonna come to you because damn it, you are worthy. You are worthy of everything. If the idea of something in your life was put into your mind, it means that you can achieve it. If you have a desire to run your own business, a desire to travel the world, a desire to do whatever it is that you want to do, the reason why it's put into your mind is because you can achieve it. You're just letting your ego tell you that you can't. And therefore, your ego continues to allow you to go back and forth to this person because that's safe and that's comfortable, even though it's not making you happy. So on the bottom of the deck, we've got the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is very um, energetic and very passionate. And I feel this person's going to come into you very energetically, very passionate. But it's also going to come with a lot of conflict as well. I also feel with this Knight of Wands, this is more your energy. It's time for you to have a new adventure. It's time for you to start something new and go and do something that's amazing. Go and travel the world. Go and start that new business. Go and move into a new home. Go and, go and try for that new job or that promotion that you don't feel that you can do. What's the harm in trying? I feel that you need to go and start a new adventure because, my darling, you are worth everything that you want in your life. And the Knight of Wands is also about taking that action. So once you align your life and you decide what it is that you want out of your life and you get rid of all the crap that no longer is in alignment with you and with your future, once you get rid of all of it, you're going to start taking inspired action towards your goals, towards your dreams, towards the things that you want. You can't just keep dreaming it. You need to take action towards it. got the magician we got the knight of cups again and we've got the seven of swords on the bottom of the deck we've got the two of wands so we've got the magician here the magician is about 
manifestation. So that you've been manifesting something into your life, but you've never felt that you're worthy of it. And you're starting to believe now, oh my God, I really hope that you are, that you are worthy of it. And whatever it is that you've been manifesting into your life is about to come in. So keep manifesting. So that new adventure, that going on um, like a gap year and go and travel the world. Um, finally finding that person that you love and taking a leap towards them. Or giving this person another chance. Or just deciding, do you know what? This is not the kind of person I want. So I'm just going to hold back and wait. And wait for the person that you really and truly desire and have been manifesting to come into your life don't ever settle this could be that you're manifesting a new home or a new job or a new promotion or whatever it is keep manifesting it keep working towards it keep dreaming about it because it's coming in for you it is coming in i'm just going to move them up a bit okay you've also got the knight of cups you've had this one twice you've got to move with action so as i said before with the one previously the other knight of cups i think someone's going to come in with action they're not going to come in with words anymore they're actually going to come in with actual action towards you and i feel with this knight of cups this is more your energy this is you deciding that this is the kind of life that i want to have so i'm going to start taking action towards my life I'm actually going to be compassionate towards myself, towards all the pain and the heartache that I've gone through. It's time for me to be compassionate towards me. And I feel this is what you need to do. To have the life that you want to lead, you need to start me making moves and taking action towards it. But you can't take action towards it if you don't know what it is you want in your life. You've got the seven of swords here. You, I feel for you, you've been betrayed more than once. And not just by the same person, by other people. Like, you've been betrayed by family, by love, by relationships, by careers. You've been betrayed so much that you can just feel like, yeah, it's like, look at her, her arms crossed. Like, yeah, this is nothing new. And never sword goes in. It's only making you stronger. It's only making you decide that... This is not the life I want anymore. Because on the bottom of the deck, you've got the two of wands. The two of wands is about making that decision. It's time for you to make that decision. There is more out in the world for you than you are actually seeing. But you don't feel that you're worthy of it. That's why you keep repeating the cycle of going back to this person. Even though they treat you like shit, you continue to go back to them. It's time for you to make the decision to either stay where you are and keep repeating the cycle that's going to make you more unhappy or step into the unknown and start moving forward with your life and start taking action towards the things that you actually want in your life. Okay, so we've got one more read to do. So if there's a question that you would like to ask your angels, it can be anything about the cards on the table or it can be something else, ask it now. If you're not sure, hit the pause button. So, Angel Spirit, guys, what's the answer to the question our Scorpios are asking, please? What's the answer to the question our Scorpios are asking, please? Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Just check. No. Oh, yeah. I've got, okay, a few turned over there. So, the first card is, it's up to you. Your life is your life, and it's up to you how you live it. No one else can come in and tell you what to do. It's completely up to you. Another one is don't stop. So if you're working towards something, don't stop. Keep going. You don't know how close you are until it's here. You could be giving up on something that is literally right there. So don't stop. And then you've got meditation brings answers. So if you're still confused and you're not knowing which direction to go in, clear your mind, keep calm, ask the angels, they will bring you the answers. And finally, on the bottom of the deck, we had success. Whatever you choose to do, you're going to be successful at. Just make sure that whatever you are choosing to do is in alignment with what you want for your future and who you are. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Scorpios. Thank you for spending this time with me. I really do appreciate it. If anything resonated with you, then please drop a comment in the comment box below. I would love to, uh, I love to read and reply to all your comments. So if, please do feel free to, to drop a comment down below. It gives me a chance to connect with you. 
Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe and the notification bell and it will notify you every single time I upload a video. I do them daily, weekly, monthly and the zodiac signs every single weekend. Yours comes out on a Sunday at 10 a.m. It really helps me grow my channel to hopefully reach more people that might need some clarity in their time of need just like it helped with me. Um, I hope that whenever you're watching this you are having a great day today and enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.